Uh, hello there, so this is going to be a very quick video. Um, my name is Peter, I'm the owner of the company WebBacon. We build really high quality, uh, high end websites. Uh, we have built a very interesting module uh, just now that we're going to be publishing to our advanced custom fields library, ACF Boot. <clears throat> so acfboot.com is a collection of different scripts that we use uh, to build websites. Uh, if you are interested in joining this library, you can uh, join now. And um, it's $1 uh, to try out for the first month, and then it's uh, $5 a month. It contains uh, many different uh, modules and uh, blocks that you can use within your WordPress administration. <clears throat> okay, so... I want to give you a quick overview of this specific blog. It turned out to be a fairly complex uh, module that is very versatile and can be used in many different applications and different websites. It's extremely user-friendly and it's very uh, lenient, lean on code, it doesn't have much code in it. So let's have a look at this case. Uh, we're building a website here for uh, Kings Bros uh, Logistics. Uh, we have a very cool looking websites website that we built through advanced custom fields um, boot library when we click on services <clears throat> you can see that we have um, this section that we've built um, we have a freight heavy haul tracking specialized logistics and storage so basically we have tabs that display different information and you might notice that the page doesn't reload it's not different pages it's all within one same page this is a really cool way to display a lot of content on one page without overwhelming the user with different uh, multiple pages that they will have to scroll through and find information for so <clears throat> that's the nature of this beast and how did we program it uh, we used um, uh, we created a specific code to output um, this information here uh, and within advanced custom fields uh, basically your customer or yourself as a developer you will be able to add uh, sections yourself let's add one section for example uh, we're going to click add row and over here we can specify um, new section section new section title we're going to bring this over all, all the way to the to be the very first one so we can see the titles of the fields here oh, one more like this so subtitle will be this is a subtitle and for the content i'm just going to uh, copy and paste from the previous uh, module here in terms of images uh, yeah why not let's just add some images uh, select image center select we don't have to have images uh, we have added specific uh, uh, specific declaration over here that if you don't have image uh, then we just don't display the image field and it's not going to break the code if images are not there I'm going to click update so you'll see a new item come up uh, just like that new section now it's a bit too big right now because uh, there's way too many items uh, but if we let's say remove this one or let's just rename let's rename this to just new <coughs> update it's not going to be as big so there we go we have new we have new section title this is a subtitle exactly what we have put here new this is new section title this is a subtitle everything is pre-formatted for you and we have uh, images and it already populates all of the code for you in the back end to make sure that uh, this module works uh, very well so that's the module that we put together. Um, I think you can imagine how many uses it can have within the web development. You can literally use it for anything. In terms of CSS code, it's very, it's very organized. Uh, it's all of the sub 
styles uh, they are embedded within the um, the ID so we're fairly specific when it comes to styling so I think um, you can really um, build very nice websites with this module if you um, if you use it uh, diligently within your development work okay that will be it for this video i'm going to be uh, going now to acfboot.com and i'll be adding this uh, new module it's going to be located um where will be located blogs and social i'll have to see where we can add it um uh inside tabs yeah inside tabs would be the pro appropriate location so i'm going to be adding this module into inside tabs and it will be right here available for you uh, to use the code the way that you use the code within uh, the, the advanced acf boot i'm um, going to give you a quick overview now uh, i'm going to log in with my credentials let's have a look at that same module inside tabs you're going to click expand and you'll have html and css and you have json file so basically json allows you to import all of the custom fields settings into advanced custom fields by going to tools and uh, choosing the json file here uh, just like that you'll, you'll click open and it will click import it will import all of the fields uh, for you automatically now html is fairly self-explanatory you head over to your uh, to your template page template uh, you just import it like this and voila you have the, all of the code there uh, and what else do we have uh, we have a css file so you just copy css file and it's uh, there as well <clears throat> very easy to use you can build complex modules Again, this module took us about half a day today to build, uh, four hours, maybe actually longer, about five, six hours to build. It can be used within the next website in a matter of minutes. In five minutes, we can have this running on a new website. So I urge you to not reinvent the wheel, but actually um, reuse uh, the modules that are, have been built by other developers. Uh, what's really great about ACF boot library is that all of the code that you see here is extremely high quality code. You will not get uh, such a high quality code um, in other locations and we've tried different different other modules and other libraries uh, for the code. So I welcome you to take part in ACF boot library and uh, contribute if you have something to contribute uh, let's build this thing together take care bye